Hello and welcome back to Adobe Circle of Influence. I'm your host, Joe Escobedo, and today we'll be talking about how to identify your story. Now, this is the most common question I get when it comes to public speaking. How do I know what to talk about? Well, the short answer is talk about you. Why is that? People want to hear about your unique experiences, your stories, your learnings. So it's always easier to talk about yourself and share from your point of view than it is from others. Now, how can we do that? Well, today we're sharing three quick tips. The first tip is to identify a story bank. Now, what do I mean by identifying a story bank? So anytime you see something interesting or you have an interesting experience, what you could do is go ahead and jot it down. So I usually have my phone with me and I have the notes here and I can go ahead and I can jot down any unique experiences or anything that I thought would might be interesting stories to tell folks down the road. The second thing you may want to explore is looking at the seven most common story archetypes. And this is something you can easily Google and find out. Now these are archetypes that have been used across every single type of medium, every type of story for thousands of years. And you've probably heard of most of them. So for example, the rags to riches story, the, overcome the overcoming the monster story. These are all ones that can help set the framework for developing your own story. And I used it when I was writing at Forbes. I was trying to think of, okay, I heard this person's story. How do I structure it in a way where it's going to be interesting to the audience? And so I often went back to those seven common story archetypes. The third tip I have is injecting drama into your story. Now, if there's no drama or there's no problem, you don't have a story. So I'll give you two examples. First example is I went on vacation. Okay. Story two is hey, I actually went on vacation to Mount Everest. Um, we, we tried to climb, but we ran out of oxygen and we were really freaking out and almost passed out on the mountain. But thankfully there was a Sherpa there to help save us, etc., etc. So you see the difference between the two. Anytime you inject drama into a story and the bigger the drama, the bigger the challenge, the more interesting the story is. So those are three quick tips you can leverage to identify your story. First, talk about your own experiences by developing your own story bank. The second thing you want to do is you want to leverage the common story archetypes that already exist. And the third thing you want to explore is injecting drama, making it bigger and bigger, such that people want to see what the solution is. So thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next episode.